All right, so this next exercise for the press handstand, we're gonna be using the wall and we're gonna use momentum to get into the handstand position and then do a slow controlled negative using the wall. So you wanna place the hands about here. You might have to play around with the distance between the hands and the wall. Depends on how mobile your wrists are and how strong you are in the planched position. So how far can you get your shoulders past your hands and still feel strong in that position. It's gonna be easier the further you're back to compress and to counterbalance the weight of the legs as you come down into the negative. But again, it's also gonna be harder in terms of the wrists and also in the strength. So I would bring it about here first and just see how that feels. And then just play with it over the course of your reps and your sets and see what feels comfortable for you. So you place the hands down, we're gonna do a jump straddle. So we start in a position that's kind of like a squat position. And then from here, we're going to shoot the legs out straight and try to get the feet to touch the wall like this at the same time. Again, we start here. We don't start wide, we start nice and close. From here, we jump, get the feet to the wall. And then from here, we're going to do our negative. So we bring our shoulders a little bit forward, bring our butt to the wall. We start to peel down the wall. Nice, slow, controlled negative. So we're trying to get our butt to the wall and then peeling down each vertebrae, rolling down the spine. So again, one more time, here, you jump up, find that straddle, you lean forward, start to peel the spine, compress, compress, compress. So by compressing, you're trying to pull your legs closer to your upper body, trying to close this gap. 